Uh-oh, I forgot to say something last time. It's Morphin Time! Triceratops! Hi there everyone, Eric again. In my last video I said that one of the best things that they're doing in Super Mega Force now is to bring back that wonderful cheesy fun. So come ye all ye believers of the Morphine Grid and let us hurrah in some of the funniest clips that we've ever seen on the show. Am I the only one who notices that my key is the wrong color? Jake, there's a simple explanation for that. They almost hit the command center! Go Rangers, put your new powers to use. Not only the funniest, but the cheesiest clips of the show that we've come to love over the past 21 years. I know what you're thinking, but if we would have gotten a really cool callback to something like similar to what they had in the Sentai, bringing Justin back as an adult, but the ultimate Power Rangers fan armed with all of the knowledge and the history of the Morphing Grid, we would have been more giddy than Rita for a giant bottle of Excedrin. Here we go. Number 10. Okay, we've learned that boobs don't work on a Power Ranger villain. Divatox was whiny, not funny, aquatic, but she never swam, and her henchman could lose a game of Connect Four to Squat and Babu. So when it gets as cheesy as this, I think we should order a pizza. Um, uh, better yet, I'll hold my tongue. Make that hers. Here's number nine. Oh, I smell another cheap cartoon crossover. Now, Bart, as cheap as it may look, I'm sure that there was plenty of production costs. I can't believe it, but I think they're... It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! But anyway, this episode was absolutely a hilarious thrill, despite how cheesy it really was. You never expected a crossover to work this well. Number eight, and unlike my jokes, it's great. Okay, waterboarding is wrong. There, I said it. Well, maybe we can turn to the SPD Rangers for the the interrogation techniques we need to combat ISIS. And you? How can you ever amount to anything with your skin so scaly? Scaly? I am a lizard. Can you bring the blue guy back in? <laughs> oh, what's that racket? It's good, huh? Yeah. It's a song that Sid wrote and performs. It's called Me. Because it's all about her. You like it? Seriously? Can you bring the blue guy back? Please! What does he know? He's a lizard. But then again, why should you help us? Prison is safe, secure, but is anything ever really truly secure? Security can only come from one place. Get to the point, Stop. will you? Just a false sense of, of, of security. And what does security really give us? Stop! I can't take it anymore! I'll talk! I'll talk! It Number seven. And thank heaven I quit using the jokes. Oh. Hey, Power Team! You just saved the world, got new Zords, and conquered a primetime time slot! What are you gonna do now? Number six. We'll talk about respect for elders later, right? Ah, uh, classic change and return to the MMPR format that we all come to love. But you know, out of all the people who came and left, I really wonder who inspired this little clip. Ashley Cornell, brief site reporter. Exactly when did you know you were evil? Did you feel unloved as a little whatever it is you are? Wow, Cassidy, being evil has always come very natural to me. Hey, what am I doing? Give me our youth! Oh, great! 
It's hard enough being a woman in this profession. Now I have to fight ageism, too. Oh. Number five. Alive. And you bet they were. Tommy and Tanya get zapped by a musical spell, and in an episode where they already had incredibly cheesy Sentai footage to work with, they decide to take it overboard musically with this. And this. Reestablish the link, or we'll all sink. And we this. Zordon must know about the spell we're under. Huh, I feel like I'm in the middle of a rock opera. And right when you thought it couldn't get any funnier or any cheesier, they make changes to the stock footage. Man, where was Glee's auto tuning then? If you thought wearing white after Labor Day was bad, here's number four. The show's grown so big it doesn't matter where you go in the world. A few key words will make them know what this is. Megazord, Morpher, or Multicolored. That is not spandex. But... That is not spandex. Okay, never mind. Here comes number three. Just can't be. Mm. What happened to your bias blaster, Clank? My readings show that its effects were dispelled by a very strong counterdose of, uh, of, uh... Of what, Clank? Stop sputtering and spit it out! Well, uh... And I will always love... So, how dare you say that compounded word again? To be or not to be. Not. Disney is to Power Rangers what Christianity is to the Dark Ages. It brought on what could have been the doomsday end to our beloved show, and I swear if I ever meet the executive that came up with this, I'll bitch slap him or her on behalf of all of us. Though you gotta admit, Disney's pretty good at popping out pop stars that later turn out into drug addicts, unstable sexaholics, baby factories, hmm, so I wonder who's next. I failed to see what lip gloss and face powder have to do with world domination. Huh? Well, it worked for Brittany and Christina. Huh? And my number one most cheesiest and funniest moment on Power Rangers is one that we never saw coming and we love her to death to this day for it. Fantasy! You have been selected by Lord Zed to become our new queen! <laughs> Are you ready for your training? <laughs> no, it looks like Rita. <laughs> well, no, that gold girl thinks his spell worked. <sighs> okay, I'll show him. Instruction will now begin. Kneel to me as your master teacher. Forget it! You should be kneeling to me! <laughs> oh, I like to hurry. And as for you two! <laughs> She's a lot like me, isn't she? Oh, you Maybe this was a bad idea. For once, my spell worked too well. Kimberly! Oh, I can't believe you tricked Goldar. I know, it should have been an actress, huh? <laughs> and may the power protect us, always.